Good afternoon, everyone. It's Christine Trainer talking to you from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. Day, what day is it? Day 234 of my everyday journey. Everyday journey, that's cool, right? July 24th. Wow, summer's, July is almost over. But August is a more beautiful month, don't you think? So I want to say welcome, welcome. So, what can I talk about today that's interesting? Okay, what I got to talk about today, as I see, I'm a little bit uh, there, there, trying to get back here. Yeah, you like this blouse? Well, that kind of goes good with my hair, right? <laughs> it still fits. Good sign. <laughs> Let me fix it here, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, you see me more now? That happens sometimes, you know. I'm learning to uh, do things more widescreen, so I'm still in experimental stage of my everyday journeys, right, guys? But I want to talk about something like I carried on from today and we had a beautiful class. I have a beautiful work class I attend on a five days a week and it's called Rebirth of Power of You. It's a beautiful class I attend with a beautiful community I'm with, with Cooler Brands. And it's a beautiful class with beautiful assignments. And last night's assignment, it was interesting. You want to know why? Because it made me do a little more thinking. Mega thinking, guys. Because this is part of my life right now. And how many times do we make promises, right? And we break them to ourselves, to everybody around them. Make it time, right? We always break promises to us, more so to ourselves and how we want to live our life and who we are. And also to family and friends and to people that you get to know, right? We start to make, we, we, give, we, we, we give a promise to somebody. And then we let these people down or you let yourself down because you didn't come through with your promise in you for yourself or for everybody around you. And this is what I want to talk about today because this is more an extension of what I said on my Facebook page. And this is what my Facebook page is basically a lot to do with some of the things I like to talk about on my YouTube, guys. It's sort of an extension. I like to talk about it here because I know in times, and I'm 59 now, guys, right? In all my lifetime, I have made a lot of promises to my family, to my friends, and I very rarely broke promises. I was really good, but I made ton of promises to myself and I broke them. I'm always breaking things. I'm always saying, I'm going to do this for myself. I promise to do this. I promise that. And I always break them. It's to do with my weight. I always say, I promise I'm going to get this weight off and I'm going to keep it off. Well, sadly, it comes to the weight routine, guys. <laughs> I make a promise at the beginning of the year to keep my weight down and be strong or try to get 25, 30 pounds off. And eventually I actually do by the time the year ends. But I always make that, that particular promise I make to myself so, sort of falls to the wayside. So I'm working on that promise promise that I'm going to get at least 30 pounds off by the end of the year and I'm going to do my best to take take keep it off that's a promise I make to myself as I also make a promise which I haven't I've kept I make a promise to myself every day that I get up I get I do my gratitude my affirmations my meditations and I exercise an hour every day on my recumbent bike that promise I stick to guys that promise I stick to. I've been doing that for almost two and a half years now, and I'm still exercising every day in my recumbent bike. That's a promise I keep to myself. I'm an uh, intermittent faster, and I promise I was st stick to that way of eating, and it's been almost two years now, and I've stuck to that. So there's a lot of promises I give, I, I stick to in my life, but there's one promise we should stick how we want to live our life and who we want to be, and how we want to just maintain a good sense of success. It's, you could promise to be positive and strong each day, which I am. I actually made that promise that I would stay, stay positive and strong each day of my life, and I'm doing that. But this last promise, guys. Oops. I decided I'm going to maintain even more. Oh, I'm having a hard time getting on my thing here. There we go. It's, I promise to never give up, never give in. When life knocks me down, I will get up and fight stronger and this is what i say to you all when life knocks you down make that solid promise to yourself get up get moving stay strong get up and be strong don't give up don't give in this is one of my promises i'm sticking to myself right now i haven't had i've actually been fairly strong because like i said almost 11 months ago i decided to change my life around and do something new and start into online marketing and I promised myself that I would not give up 
I keep doing it. It's been about 11 months now. I'm still sticking to it. I am not giving him on this beautiful part of my life that I started 11 months ago. So the promises you give to yourself, keep them. Do what you can. Set some goals aside to maintain these particular promises. Stick, if you want to be, if you, if you're promised to be positive every day, go online and mash yourself with an awesome amount of affirmations and say them every day. Look yourself into the mirror and say, I love you. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for being who you are. And give yourself a big hug. That's a promise I give to myself every day. And I talk to talk to myself every day in the mirror and I give myself self-love. That's a promise I do for myself every day. So this is my little little chit-chat today. The promises we want to keep for ourselves each day. And we stick to them. We stick to them. Because when we stick to these promises every day, we're going to make ourselves happy within ourselves. We're going to move forward in the direction we want to go move forward in. And we're going to, it's going to be a beautiful, more beautiful life. This is what I want to talk about today because I noticed that, yes, in the past, I would make promises to myself and I'd break them. But this past couple of years, my little promises for me with the exercising, eating healthy, starting a new direction in my life and sticking to it, I've maintained pretty well this past two years with my exercises, past two years with my affirmations and my meditations and my gratitude every morning. That's something that's good to do. Give thanks every day. That's a good promise. I promise to give thanks every day. I promise to be positive and strong every day of my life. Affirmations. I promise to maintain a healthy balance of eating every day. Eating healthy. I promise to exercise maybe 20 to 30 minutes every day. There you go. All these little promises you make to yourself. And you do it. You can do one promise at a time because you knew what? A promise to yourself is a habit too, right? And it takes three weeks to start a habit, right? It takes three weeks to get the ball rolling and start the habit. And I think it takes, what, three months to, to have, for it to be a lifestyle? Yeah, three, three weeks. Is it, it takes three weeks to start the habit and it takes three months to really maintain it as a lifestyle. And making promises to yourself is a wonderful habit and a beautiful lifestyle of yourself because you're doing things for you. You're looking after you. You're giving yourself the self-love. You're looking after you. You're patting yourself on the back. You're giving yourself a big hug. And you're doing these things for you. Take care of you. Love you. Give yourself a break from time to time. That's the way it is when you give promises to yourself. And you'll find that each day we do this in our life. Give promises to yourself and maintain the promises. You will. You will. You'll be a happier, more content person. As I'm really starting to do with these wonderful new habits I've created and these promises I make to myself every day. And I must say, I am I agree with what I want to what I'm saying here. I promise to not to never give up, never give in. When life knocks me down, I will get up and fight stronger. And this is the promise I made to myself, more so now than ever in my life, because we are struggling in our own, in our life right now. But the struggles lead to knowledge, lead to successes. And that's a wonderful thing because I get up and fight stronger, because that's how I am nowadays. And so I send this and share this to you all on my everyday journey, day 234. The promises we make to ourselves every day of our life to fulfill ourselves to make life happier and more successful to grow each day so that's my little everyday journey today I hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up as I get my little everyday journey in order because I gotta get it tweak it a bit right but my love to you all give me a thumbs up like I said again I hope you enjoyed it because I really love talking about this this is another good subject that I love to talk about today because it really, really instills my love to you all and how we can really, really, really make promises to ourselves and keep them. These promises we give to ourselves helps make us happy every day, leads us to grow on a daily basis and become more successful in our life and who we are. Okay, guys. Like I always say, another promise to yourself 
make today a great day or an everyday journey because only you can make your day the best day, the great day. All right, my love to you all. See you tomorrow on day 235 of my everyday journey. Ooh. Getting closer and closer to one of my favorite times of the year. My love to you all. Bye.